Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to another Marvel Legends review. We're going to do a double whammy this time, and it is the two stars of Hawkeye, the Disney Plus TV series. We have, of course, Clint Barton on the left and Kate Bishop on the right. So I have managed to pick up these figures the last couple of days. Um, last one I need for the wave to complete Infinity Ultron of Mr. Knight. So really hoping I can track that one down because he's been a tough one to tough one to find. So he's sold out everywhere that I've been able to visit. So hopefully, hopefully I can find him very, very soon. So to start off with, we'll look at Kate Bishop. I've had her longer, so we'll get a, get a good look at her. If we can zoom up a little bit. There we go. She's a really, really nice figure. Um, it's a really good likeness to uh, Haley Steinfeld there, who is just absolutely gorgeous, you know. Um, yeah, this, and I think they've really captured that really nicely. I do love these outfits, these sort of classic, almost comic-inspired outfits with the with the purple and the, you know, a little bit more pinky on um, Kate's here, but... Um, yeah, really nicely done. She does come with a couple of sets of hands. She comes with just two gripping hands, like so. One to hold the bow, and then sort of two, sort of almost just sort of semi-relaxed hands. So that works out well. Um, her quiver is all sort of one piece, part of the sort of the black strapping around the front and sides. Um, that is removable. I have actually glued mine on just because it was wobbling around a little bit and that was uh, bugging me a little bit so <laughs> I decided to uh just fix it in place I was never intending on moving it uh we do have a bow um I want to try and find a way to replace the string <laughs> just with a I don't know I, I don't know if I'll bother to be honest but um if I was going to go a little bit more hardcore I'd find something to replace the, the the black plastic just so it has a little bit more flex and and posing but um I can find some ways around that to Pose these two figures up um, without having to have a sort of a bow arrow launching sort of pose, I guess. <laughs> I love here on the side of the belt you have some of the trick arrows that Hawkeye has. It's got the sort of the sort of triangular sort of Hawkeye arrow shape there, which is cool. And of course, we know by the end of the series he does take on the mantle of Hawkeye the name of Hawkeye, so I think Clint can finally rest, retire with his family, knowing that uh, the role of Archer in the Avengers is in good hands with Kate, so I actually really like the series, I thought it was good, um, I, it was, yeah, it sort of wrapped up really cool, I, I, had, a, I had a lot of fun watching that series, it was really good. I thought um, she did a really good job of Kate Bishop, um, you know, very sort of quirky, young, plucky, good sense of humour, and yeah, don't, definitely want to see more of her with, with Yelena, that's the sort of next reincarnations of Hawkeye and Black Widow, so yeah, now we'll take a look at Clint. Pretty solid likeness to Jeremy Renner, probably one of the better ones I've seen. I I had the Age of Ultron one um, a few years back. Eh, it was it wasn't great, um, but this one I think they've done pretty well. I feel like maybe his neck's a little too long. If anything, if there's one thing to pick on about this figure, it's that the neck's probably a little bit too long. His quiver again is sort of removable. You can just have it pegged onto the back. It's a nice tight fit, so you won't need to glue that in or anything, but you can sort of pivot from side to side. So again, two sets of hands, you get two fists, so you can do some powwow. It does have like a trigger finger here, so he can hold his hold his bow and have this sort of quick release. Like he's just he's just released his released his volley. But yeah, again, sort of very much inspired by the sort of classic Hawkeye outfit. More so in the modern, modern Hawkeye as opposed to the the old classic Hawkeye with the big purple hat as well. Um, if you had to put on some sunglasses, it would have been, you know, there. <laughs> but um, I don't know that Jeremy Renner's version of Clint Barton is, is the kind of guy to just wear sunglasses. 
but yeah, this is a this is a nice one. It's nice to have a, a cool Clint Barton Hawkeye in the collection. I am after a uh, comic style one now. I'm trying to build up my sort of classic Avengers and other heroes. But yeah, I, I like the touch of uh, doing the sort of scratch on the cheek and the, the band-aids up on the thing. I'm glad they only did it with this one. Um, so I dare say they'll probably do a two pack at some point or they'll do that with um, with Kate, give her some band-aids and they'll give a uh, Clint Barton a nice clean clean face without those sort of details. But yeah, this is definitely one of the better ones um, that I've seen. Never got the, the end game version of Hawkeye. No one looked pretty good from memory, but um, yeah, this one's pretty nice. Pretty standard articulation all throughout for Marvel Legends these days, all pinless, which is nice on both the figures. So there we have Clint Barton and his protege, Kate Bishop, looking fantastic together. Awesome, awesome little duo. Looking forward to seeing more. I don't think we'll see much more of Clint. I think he'll still pop up um, in some capacity, but uh, not to the level that he has. It's, he's uh, now handed off the reins to, to Kate, so. You can definitely see he's a little bit more purple. Hers is a lot more pink. It's still going with the uh, Hawkeye flavor. So two awesome figures. Um, yeah, so next up, I hope to have Mr. Knight to finish out the wave, and then I'll do a separate review on the Infinity Ultron. Um, you know, he is pretty much assembled, which is why I haven't shown the parts in the last couple of videos. So hope you've enjoyed this one, folks. And... Uh, yeah, tune in. We'll be with you with another video real soon.